Anyone want to come for an ice cream? Yes, please. You coming, Troy? Oh, no. You don't want an ice cream? I didn't like leaving Troy with Grandpa on the loose, but I had no choice. While I was gone, Troy threw the seaweed all over the top in a mess and started taking off all the shells. I rushed back ahead of Dad and was about to say something to Troy when I heard... Oh, no, you don't, young man. Ah! I am Sir Shrinkalot, and I guard Jason Mason's sand castle. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. He'd taken the knight's clothes off and was wearing them himself. It was you! You moved the flags and changed the shells. I certainly did. This is Jason's castle and you can't expect to come marching in here and take over. I... I guess not. I had to do something. Troy was getting closer and closer to Sir Shrinkalot. Jason! Jason the knight! It's... it's... It's just a toy, Troy. No! It's alive! It spoke to me and everything! <laughs> Troy, you have such a fantastic imagination. No, it really did, honest. Dad! While nobody was looking, I grabbed the toy knight. He needed to put his clothes back on. And so did Grandpa. So I rushed round to the back of the beach hut. While Grandpa was getting dressed, I put the knight back in his place. And this time, Troy didn't dare try to stop me.